Leaders in the North Rift yesterday took another swipe at President Uru Kenyatta for allegedly sidelining his deputy William Ruto. Speaking during the burial of Abraham Tarapajiori at Karatat area in Soy constituency, the leaders claimed the head of state's dalliance with opposition leader Rayla Odinga had created more suspicion in the party. Nandi Governor Stephen Sang claimed Uru's preference of the Directorate of Criminal Investigation DCI in the fight against grafter and not the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Eek was a matter of great concern. We are surprised that Kenyatta is now using DCI George Kanatai to fight corruption yet nobody vetted him. If he has faith in him, he should have appointed him to Eek, an independent body that is mandated by law and has all resources to win the war against graft. Mr. Sang said. He said the main reason the fight against corruption was not won before the constitution came into force was because it had been politicized and was used to settle political scores. Sang also questioned why Uru chose to work closely with Rayla, whom he claimed committed a treasonable act by swearing himself in as the people's president in 2018 at Uru Park after the repeat general elections. I have never understood his involvement with Rayla, who is yet to denounce the initial oath he took insisting that he is the people's president. That is why his entry into government through handshake has put us in an awkward position. If Kenyatta is interested in another term, he should tell us so that we can negotiate, he said. So MP Caleb Kosetni said though the handshake was now one year old. There was nothing worth to celebrate as it had caused more divisions and suspicions in the country. The handshake was about two people and we were never told any reason for the move. In order to save the situation, Kenyatta should call for a parliamentary group meeting so that we can iron out any difference, Mr. Kasetni said.